Chi Adams strikes to grab point for Southampton at Manchester United. This was not quite the tale of two halves that was Manchester United's draw at Burnley and penalty shootout defeat by Middlesbrough. In those last two outings Ralph Rangnick's men were cruising before the interval and lost the plot after it. Today they did concede again after the tea and oranges, but then held firm against a Southampton whose spirit impressed. This was a very deferent Ralph Hassan Hitl side to the one that lost 9-0 in this fixture last season. Instead, United ended with a draw that cannot be categorized as a disaster. Their opponents achieved the same result against Manchester City home and away. The problem, of course, is the congested race for the top four and how this result continues the pattern of inconsistent progress under Rangnick. United will curse how they switched off on 47 minutes to allow Chi Adams to cancel out Jadon Sancho's opener. Rangnick's side began with a Marcus Rashford punt into the area that skipped past Cristiano Ronaldo and drew a thumbs up from the Portuguese. When Sancho's burst and pass did locate Ronaldo, he rounded the goalkeeper Frazier Forster, but his weak shot was hacked clear by Romain Perrault. The goal-saving act by the left back was soon mirrored at the other end by Luke Shaw. A breathless passage started when Kyle Walker-Peters turned a ball back towards an unmarked Adams. At close range the striker could only shoulder it away from David De Gea in goal, and when James Ward-Prost blazed at the rebound and dived shot a block. Soon after that, Sancho ran 50 yards into the visitors' area, but with Rashford and Ronaldo begging him to square a pass he went on his own, and Forster smothered. Before the match Rangnick said Ronaldo, restored to the team in place of Edinson Cavani, had to score more, along with the rest of the forwards. This pre-game exhortation was seen by some as stating the obvious. Really, though, it was a stark message to Ronaldo, Sancho, Rashford, and Fernandes that 14 goals in the Germans' first 11 matches was paltry for players who draw a large chunk of their salaries for finding the net. Sancho was about to do just this and could thank Rashford, who provided his second league assist of the season. Fernandes was key too, his raking ball allowing Rashford to race in along the right. On seeing Sancho at the far post, the cross was perfect, the England international scoring his fourth this term. It was a fine team display up until then. Diogo Dalot and Shaw were sharp at the back, Scott McTominay proved muck and nettles from midfield, demonstrated by a challenge on Mohamed el Yunusi that brought a booking, and Paul Pogba was a silken skilled bully who bossed the danger area near Southampton's goal. Hassan Hitl's side, though, would not be dominated and handed United a scare when Mohamed Salisu's throw-in was inadvertently flicked on by Pogba for Stuart Armstrong to take aim at De G, who saved. January's Premier League Player of the Month did the same moments later when lunging left to stop a low Perro skimmer. United's recent league record was draw, win, win, draw, defeat, win. The tale of an indifferent season in microcosm. And now arrived the second half Itis United are currently suffering, their midfield in Riargward and Slumberland as El Yanusi received the ball and pinged it to Adams. The number 10's finish, in off to G's far post, was pinpoint. Hassan Hitl jumped onto the pitch in jubilation, while Rangnick was stony-faced. Armando Bro has soon skipped into position to fire at De G, who turned the effort for a corner. From the set-piece Fernandes then went close to heading past his keeper and trying to clear. United did move upfield and Forster had to repel a Maguire prod from Shaw's free kick before the keeper beat aware Ronaldo and Alad attempts. Hassan Hitl's histrionics were on show again when Armstrong blasted